All right, welcome back. This is Chris from Rice Bear Arms. We've been gone a few weeks due to vacation with some buddies' weddings and stuff going on, but now we're back. We're going to pick back up on our videos and try to get as, get, try to get as many more posted to you as we can. Today we're going to do a quick overview of one of my rifles. Um, the main feel, focus and feature point on it, I'll run you through everything I've done to this particular gun real fast, but the main focal point is going to be the laser designator on the side. Um, a lot of people have heard of laser designators or laser genetics, um, but even myself, when you go on the internet and try to research these things, there's not a lot of descriptions of what they're actually for or what they're good for. So today we'll try to cover some of those points and show them to you. Again, real quick, a quick overview of this particular rifle though. It's just your standard low-end kind of DPMS basic gun. Um, I'll show you the weapon is clear. There's nothing in it. Lock the bolt open. Some of the stuff I've done to this one, um, again, just a simple lightweight carbine. I try to keep it as simple as possible. I've got a Magpul Mo forward grip on it with two pieces of rail, a medium length and a long length. I've got a Magpul Mo grip, uh, a DOA optic, and a DOA laser designator. Uh, DOA is new to the United States. It's a friend of mine that's actually importing this stuff straight in himself. Uh, and through doing so, another thing we ran into was trying to find quality optics and trying to find quality laser designators and stuff that were affordable that still worked well. Um, another features I've done to this is a Troy. Uh, oversized charging handle. Um, next, I did a Magpul bad lever, which if you guys aren't familiar with one of these, these things are awesome. At a later date, we might do a better video covering just this particular thing. Um, it's pretty neat. What it does, it allows you, you know, most everybody knows to lock your bolt open, you got to take a hand off of the gun and you hit a button. Well, this will allow you to lock the bolt open with one finger as well as release the bolt or the charging at one, with one finger and not have to take your hand and slap the side of the weapon. Um, I think that's about it. Oh, I did do an oversized trigger guard as well. Uh, it just allows me to be able to get my finger in there quickly with the bag lever or if I'm wearing gloves or anything along those lines. Um, low pro gas block, Yankee Hill machine, quick detach uh, flash hider. What that allows me to do is quickly attach a silencer to it or a suppressor to the end of the gun without having to have any special tools just ratchet on myself. Back to the main focal point on just not the weapon so much, it's, it's just a basic AR, but back to talking about the laser designators. What these things are designed and purposely for is you can attach them to your weapon and actually use your optics at night. Uh, a lot of us know you can go out and buy night vision. As, as neat or as cool as it may be, the problem with buying night vision is it'll cost you four or $5,000 for anything worth a damn. Um, this will work in conjunction with any scope you've got, any other optic you've got that has magnification or not. And at night will allow you to see in pitch black. The first night I got one, he was telling me about it, I walked outside of my house and with a uh, Leopold optic on a rifle, I was able to see about 400 yards down the road. Excuse me, pitch black, no street lights, middle of the night, and I could count the leaves on a tree at 400 yards. These things are really cool. They're hard to explain. And it's hard to understand until you get one in your hand and get to play with one. Here in just a few minutes, we're going to walk out to our private range. I'm going to shut the lights down. We're going to try to get the camera to look through the optic and show you down range what it looks like. Um, again, this is just a big green laser. It's literally a large green dot that's matte. You can adjust the size of it. I don't know if you can see on the wall behind me there. But you'll be able to adjust the size of this thing and make it larger for the different distances that you're going to shoot. They come with brackets so that you can zero them into your particular weapon. Um, and get it to where you want it, whatever size you might want it to be, or what angle you need it for your gun, and what distance you're going to shoot. Here in South Florida, we do a lot of hog hunting. Um, the neatest thing about this to me is being able to go out in pitch black night without a $5,000 night vision setup, about 500 bucks for one of our optics and a laser designator, and you can go in pitch black and shoot pigs. The other neat thing is the uh, the green doesn't really affect the animal, so when you're seeing them in the dark and you want to shoot one of them. It's not going to, when you turn the green laser designator on, the pig's not going to jump and run. Um, yeah, you can use spotlights and everything else, but if you ever really try to effectively hunt with a mag light or a spotlight through an optic, it does not work, or these actually do. Um, it's a laser, you can see it as far as you can imagine. Some, the, the website says three miles, but as some of us know, a flashlight can be seen at seven. So, a laser will go as far as you want it to go. Uh, it'll, out, it'll outreach your ability to see. So if we take a minute, we're going to pause the video, we're going to go out to the range, we're going to turn the lights out, and I'll try to give you an option and actually show you what these things look like in the dark. Alright, what we're going to do now is we're actually outside of my private range, um, my little box, 
as I call it. And what I'm going to do is we've got one of our zombie targets down range. Once we move out of the way here, we're going to shut the lights and stuff off. We're going to do our best to try to get the camera to show the optic through the light. Now remember, yeah, this thing does designate and does show where your position is slightly. Joe will turn around and show you the gun set up on the bench right now. It's a cheesy setup. Sorry, but it works. Um, but remember, this is pitch black. Go outside and try to do this with a mag light and let me know how it works. Joe, if you want to show the zombie. I'll turn around and show the gun from the front, too, so they can see the light. think you've got it where you can hold it. I'll turn the light out. Alright. You ready? Yep. You recording? Yep. Okay, I don't know how well this is going to show and Joe's trying to get the camera through the optic on the rifle and sorry we're not professional cameramen. But what you can notice is it's pitch black in this room right now, but you can perfectly see. Now, this is only 35 feet, but it's a good example. I'm just trying to give a good idea of how these things work. At 35 feet through that optic, especially with a human eye, you can see every detail on the body of the zombie target. You can see her hair. You can see everything you need to make an educated, well-placed shot in complete black. Go turn off one more. Another neat feature is it'll work like night vision with your camera. Again, we're just using a handheld video camera here and pitch black in the room right now. He's not got any night vision capability turned on on the camcorder itself and you can perfectly see what's going on. This thing is, guys, for the money to be able to invest 250 bucks is what we sell our particular lights for, for the small one, 300 for the large one. But for what we sell one of these things for, you can't replace it and you can't find anything cooler to shoot varmints or hogs or any kind of game hunting that you would want to do in the evening. Alright again, Chris, Right to Bear Arms. Today's video was pretty short and brief. I was just trying to give you guys a rough idea of what these things were so that when you're seeing them on the internet or seeing them in your catalogs and the description flat out sucks, it gives you a better idea of what this piece is. Again, remember too, if you are happy to be looking for one of these, my store does stock them now and we're beating about everybody's price on the market because of where we're getting them from and the quality is there because we've tested them ourselves on some of the machine guns and stuff as well as our own personal rifles and we've been having a blast with them. Um, feel free to tune in, chime in with any questions you might have, um, anything you want to know about this particular item or any of my weapons in the store again or any questions you have about anything just feel free give us an email or post a comment or a question and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Back to the main focal point though, like I said the laser designated. Laser Genetics makes these, there's a few other companies coming on the market with them now. Um, again, I've been seeing them from my distributors and stuff, and I thought, what in the world is it? What's the point of it? Why in the heck would I want to buy a four or $500 light to stick on the side of my gun that I don't even know what it does? Um, so fortunately, I had a friend come in, and he said, well, I put one on my rifle, and you're really to check it out. I said, what is the point of this thing? He says, it's like a super neat green laser, basically. But what it allows you to do is this is visible this larger 40 millimeter one is visible up to three miles away um, the other neat thing is that pitch black you can actually use your optic and what's the word i want in conjunction with yeah. <clears throat> okay you want to redo that because yeah. if you say three miles i'll slap you that's i just pulled a review on it then... you're crazy you're cra a flashlight a standard flashlight goes seven miles okay. a standard flashlight that is a laser. It's in, in infinite. It never stops. But go ahead. You, know I, you can do three miles, but you're going to sound stupid. A well, flashlight goes seven miles. The description on the internet for this. Seven miles says. is a flashlight. Should I leave that in? <laughs> Whatever. Hey, it's your video. You're going to look stupid because a flashlight goes seven miles. I am. Um, He's going to say three miles. Now, before we start, you have the option of starting. You, you, we got about three and a half minutes before you cut us off there. We can redo that whole three minutes, or no, I can edit. That's where I started talking about the laser designator again. Okay, so you're going to start over from scratch on the laser designator. Oh, we can do another break. Because there's, there's going to be... There's, 
Because I'm gonna have to walk out that door. Um, there's, there's gonna be an obvious skip. You're okay with it? Okay. You good? Uh, yeah, give five. 